I just finished building the villain's icons. This is what I like, and this is what I don't like about this set. I like how realistic all the items in this set look. All these items are life size, so it's pretty cool that we can pick up and hold these nostalgic items that are made from Lego. I like how they made a life size VHS tape. The scale is very accurate and I like how the spools of film are asymmetric denoting that the tape isn't fully rewound. I also like how you can pull back the top of the cassette tape to reveal a film strip underneath which is made up of bright colorful detailed stickers. I like how you are provided with two joint pieces that stick out of Aladdin's cassette case so you can easily attach the VHS tape to it and angle it sideways so it's leaning on the Beauty and the Beast book. I like how we get two colorful VHS cases with a purple case for Sleeping Beauty and a pink case for Aladdin. The spine of the cases look nice with colorful stickers which have both the Sleeping Beauty and Aladdin fonts on it. I like how the front of the Sleeping Beauty cassette case has the Maleficent brick sketch mosaic on it and the Aladdin cassette case has the Jafar brick sketch mosaic on it. I don't like the fact that you cannot easily separate the cassette cases, book, and VHS tape from each other and the fact that these items aren't Aren't fully built since they have attachment points for all the items to connect to each other. I like how all the colors of the items complement each other when they're connected together for display. And I like how the poisonous apple, book, VHS tape, cases, and clock are all arranged and fit together. I like how we get a life-sized poisonous apple. However, the design isn't that great because the edges of the apple don't line up completely. So the apple has some hard edges and isn't completely round. I do like how they added poison on the apple which looks like green slime oozing out of it. And I like the brick built stem and leaf on top of the apple. I like how we get a brick built clock with a huge printed white dish which has the Peter Pan graphic on it. Plus the Roman numerals of the clock. I like how they constructed the hands of the clock and they included a ring at the top of the clock. I don't like the Captain Hook mosaic on the back of the clock because the hook looks more like a circle than a hook. I like how we get a Queen of Hearts playing card. And I like the fact that the playing card is made up of three printed tiles. I like all the hidden compartments that we get in this set. We get a hidden compartment inside the poisonous apple where you can store the evil queen in disguise. We get a hidden compartment behind the Jafar face in the Aladdin cassette case where we can store Jafar as the genie. We get a hidden compartment behind the Maleficent face in the Sleeping Beauty cassette case where we can store Maleficent. And we get a hidden compartment in the Beauty and the Beast book where we can store Gaston. I also like how you can reveal a hidden rose in a glass case when you open up the hidden compartment in the Beauty and the Beast book. I don't like all the stickers in this set. It would have been better if all the designs were printed on tiles instead. However, I do like all the designs of the stickers because the graphics are really well done. I like how smooth most of the items that are built are. There's very minimal studs that show except for on the mosaics, front of the apple and leaf, and spines of the cassette case and VHS cassette. I like the building experience of this set. There weren't any repetitive builds and the building techniques to create these life-size items were very interesting and fun to do. I like all four minifigures that we get in this set. I like the Maleficent minifigure with her cool looking horns. She has a nice blue face with great looking eyeshadow and lipstick. She has a nice looking torso and dress piece. I like the Jafar as the genie minifigure. He has an interesting yet scary looking face and muscular torso. He has an interesting looking ponytail on the top of his head. And he comes with a nice pearl grey lamp. I like the Gaston minifigure who comes with a cool looking hairpiece that ties into a ponytail. He has a great looking face with a raised eyebrow and a strong looking muscular torso and nice printing on his legs. Gaston also comes with dual printing on his arms. And he comes with an alternate face where he looks a little upset. I like the evil queen in disguise minifigure who comes with a creepy looking black Hood. She has an evil looking face and long white hair printed onto the top of her torso. The evil queen in disguise also comes with an alternate face where she looks even angrier. And she comes with a red apple accessory. So what do you like? What do you don't like? Comment below, let me know, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye!